Welcome to my Saturday special. Uh, it isn't really anything special with it besides you getting an extra video on a Saturday. <laughs> but uh, today we're going to talk about this. You already seen the picture. This is a 1971 Chevy Ram truck. I talked about it earlier in my uh, previous video. But uh, yeah, it's a really cool truck. We're going to talk about it. I'm going to take it off the trailer. It is drivable. The brakes are dragging like uh, crazy. And my first thought when I got this truck was that I was going to uh, fix it at his place and then drive it home. But I reconsidered and I am really glad I did because this really needs a lot of brake work and these 8 lug brakes, especially the rear brakes, uh, aren't really fun to work with. They're pretty, it's a lot of work, it's heavy stuff. So I'm really ha happy I just trailered it home. And I pulled it with my 2500 2007 Suburban. I really, really love this truck. It's really great with the 6.0 and the 4.8 and everything. Really, really hard to find a 2500 of these in Sweden. But anyway, that's not what I'm going to talk about here today. I'm going to talk about this. And uh, yeah, I'm going to drive it off, the, off my trailer here. And uh, yeah, then we can talk a little more. So a little, little quick explanation to why did I get this truck and uh, what's my plan and how I'm thinking about it. And the reality is that uh, the previous owner gave this truck to me and I can't really believe it myself. But uh, he watches my videos. In case you don't know, I have both this channel and I also have this channel is called Barely, Barely Running and I also have Barely Running Sverige which I post the same videos basically that I do on this channel but in Swedish since that's to be honest it's a lot easier to speak your native language than to speak another language so I just I you I do both so he watches my Swedish videos and obviously his situation here in Sweden about an hour from me and uh, he watched my videos and he reached out to me by email and said that he had this truck sitting and he said that maybe we could trade for something and uh, I emailed back to him and said that of course I'm interested in the truck and since it was only an hour from home I didn't take any discussions further I just uh, drove out there to look at it and uh, I looked at it and obviously it's a bit rough but uh, judging by the other shit that I have it's a pretty decent condition so we I looked at it and he said like yeah if you if you're up to Italy and if I thought that I could manage this also and I said yeah I would love to to uh, to get back on the streets and so I said what do you want for it what or what kind of trade are you thinking and uh, we talked a little bit and uh, he eventually just said that uh, I want to give this to you he wanted to give it to me and to the channel to uh, to be kind because he liked my video he said that he yeah, i reminded him of of him when he was in my age and doing a lot of stupid projects that he also did so yeah he just wanted to uh, be be kind and uh, sponsor the channel with this truck so that's the story of how i got it and uh, why it is here i have always looked at ram trucks or car haulers uh, ads or when i see them but i've always 
thought that a trailer is a better option for me. The, the thing I don't like about these sort of trucks is I can load a lot more on my trailer than I can load here, legally, here in Sweden at least. So it hasn't really... Since I do a lot of truck stuff, the weight that this can carry legal isn't enough for the, uh, the things I usually do. Probably a, my Chevelle or something is about what this can carry and not being pulled over by the cops and get a ticket. I think this can take a lot more, probably the same as my trailer, but with the weight and the rules, it's you can't take as much. So, but uh, I'm really looking forward to this and uh, the previous owner, Matte, he um, said that I can do whatever I want with it. I can sell it if I want or yeah, take the engine and scrap the rest. But I really feel that I'm kind of obligated to take this back on the street. I mean, it, it would be feel pretty bad just to get rid of it and get the money. I don't know what I could get for this right now here in Sweden about like three, four thousand dollars maybe for this. And uh, I really thought that that would just feel bad. So I, I really want to save this, get this back on the street and make it street legal and uh, try it. Try if a ramp truck or a, do you call it car hauler? I don't know, but uh, a vehicle that can transport other vehicles. I really want to try it and see if it's something for me. A friend of mine said that when you have tried this, you're going to sell your car trailer. And I'm not really sure about that, but uh, I guess we'll find out. So the plan is to make this, it is running and driving, but we have to do a lot of stuff, a lot of work to the brakes. My first thought was that I was going to drive to him and fix the brakes and fix all the small stuff and drive it home to me. But uh, how I live, I live in the capital of Sweden, Stockholm, and we have a lot of heavy traffic. And I really don't want to have problems being on the side of the road and have to, uh, yeah. If I had to uh, get a tow truck when I'm stuck at the side of the road, that would be hella expensive when I have the trailer and all the stuff to just haul it home. So yes, that's why I opted to just take it home and work with it. So yeah, that's about uh, my plan so far and how we got to here. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go and look a little bit more. Okay, so it's gonna take a little deeper look on this. It's got a bit of rust, it's not terrible, at least not by my standards with the young I have. But it needs rockers, both sides. Also, uh, you can see the, done some really cool painting here on the inside. But we have some rust here in the roof that obviously maybe we're gonna fix, I don't know. But uh, yeah, we'll see, but it, it's definitely not rust free. But still better than most stuff I have. We have some rust hole here in the fender and probably have started a down here. The hood has been hit and under the hood we have a 350. He said it's a 350 as yes, some smog engine, nothing special. Got a holly carb and uh, some old call custom valve covers. So yeah, it works. So probably needs some love, but I think uh, this will not be the main issue with this project. Uh, behind that we have a tur Turbo 400 that he's gone through, so that should be working good. The main issue we will have with this truck is the brakes. And uh, since this is a dual wheel truck, it has some big brakes. But I don't think we have any super big problems, but the rear brakes on this is a little bit of a pain to work on. And also with working on this thing, um, I'm sorry I can't do this in uh, in Imperial, but uh, this thing is seven and a half meters long and my garage is eight meters on the outside measurements. So I'm not really sure that we are going to be able to get this into my garage. So probably have to work with this outside, but uh, we'll get to that down the line. But other than that, we have some Alcoa wheels that I really like. I don't really like them on this truck because I think they get a little more modern tone to them. I would prefer some steel wheels on this, but uh, the tires are great. 
and uh, yeah, you can see some rust in the rockers, but other than that, I think it's a decent truck. We have some rust in the bed, and uh, also you can see here, we have, uh, we have a hitch laying there, and uh, we have a hole here in the rear where you can attach that hitch, so you can pull a trailer with it. We have some rust here in the bed, nothing all that bad, but I mean, when we get so far that that is our main issue, that won't be any big problem. But we also have some rust here in the structure to the rear part of the bed, but yeah, that would be really easy to fix. And I'm not really sure about this ramp truck thing. I think they obviously look really cool, but uh, I, for some, I think it's a bit of a pain to load stuff when you're always in an incline, but maybe that's something you get used to, I don't know. But yeah, that's what it is. We could make another bed for it. I'm not saying that I'm gonna to, but we could make a flat bed, but uh, I think it's kind of the charm with this being a ramp truck. But uh, yeah, not much more to say about it. It's an old beat up truck that just needs some love that uh, yeah my plan is going to give it so that we can have it back on the streets again but uh, we really have to try something here This looks really, really cool, and it's totally impossible to see where the uh, where the what do you call it the rack comes. So I managed to to stop like uh, an inch before I hit it. So I think that was pretty good. But yeah, it re looks really, really cool. But the problem I have with this, if if you look like this, we already have more than half of the car behind the rear axle. And obviously this is the heavy side of the car with the engine and so on. But uh, I really feel that this is going to feel very heavy. I'm not sure. I have no uh, form of experience with this. But I would really like the, the rear wheel to be like three feet further back. Because I thought, think that that would make this drive better. But again, I don't know. Maybe this is totally perfect. But I think it looks a bit goofy. But uh, yeah. I'm really excited to test it, but uh, yeah, we'll see how it is down the down the line. But uh, yeah, that will be all for the ramp truck this week. Next week, I'm going to I'm not going to get in this 100% um, right now because it's uh, it's first of March today, and uh, obviously it's still pretty cold outside. Now we have some better weather. We We've been above freezing for two weeks now, something like that, but it may come more snow. So since I, I don't think this will fit in my garage, maybe we can get it in and close the doors, but I don't think that you will even be able to pass, pass in front or behind it. But I guess we can, we can find out. But I think this will have to wait like a month or a month and a month and a half to until we have some more better weather. But I don't know, maybe we have some uh, nice sunny spring days here in, uh, in the middle of March or in the beginning of April. I don't know, we'll see. But uh, yeah, that will be all for the um, ramp truck right now. What do you think we should do with it? And uh, yeah, see you, see you again next week.